One of the first things you'll notice while working in Bitwig Studio is that you're gonna be getting things done a lot faster. And a large part of that has to do with Bitwig Studio's layout. Right now we're looking at our traditional timeline view where all of our clips are laid from left to right. Over on the left hand side, we have our inspector. This will show us relevant information for whatever we have selected. If I choose a track, we'll see the channel strip. As I move over here and click on one of my clips, all important information for that clip will show up in the inspector. I can see where the clip is placed on the timeline, the length of it, whether it's looped or not, or muted. If I open up the note editor panel and select the note, the inspector now shows me the name of the note, velocity, and some other options. All right, so while we're here, let's talk a little bit about the note editor panel. Right now I'm looking at the single clip that I have selected, but if I push this button right here, I can actually see the contents of the entire track in my note editor panel. This makes it way easier to work on transitions between clips. The note editor panel makes it pretty easy to work on edits while you're looking at your overall arrangement. But when you really need to get your hands dirty, we have our edit view. Now we have all the room of the world to edit our MIDI or audio events. We also have enough room to see our note expressions, so we can easily check things like velocity or gain. And we can also see our automation lanes from here. It's nice to have the extra space. Once again, we've only been looking at an individual clip, but it's just as easy to flip between this and our full track. Nice. Now there may be times when you have to look at more than one track in the editor. Easy enough. Just click on layered editing. This will allow me to pick and choose what I see on the editor. This is really helpful, especially on drum tracks when you want to have everything lined up perfectly together. So it's easy to see now how both the note editor panel and our dedicated editing window are going to make life a lot easier for you. Let's head on back over to the arrange page and let's take a look at the browser over here on the right hand side. The browser is set up to give you quick access to what you need most. Here you can browse all your virtual instruments and devices, and it's really easy to search through presets. You can also browse and preview any loops that you have on your computer. And it's super easy to set a bookmark. Just right click and set a location. So let's take a quick look and see what else is available here in our lower panel. We talked about the note editor before, but you can also see automation for the selected track, any devices, virtual instruments, or effects that you might have on a track, or if you'd like to mix from the arranger view, just turn on your mixer panel. So that's a quick overview of both the arrange and edit windows, but we've also got a mix window. The mix window is where you can pick and choose which ideas or clips play at any given time. You can also trigger entire clips from left to right by clicking on the appropriate scene. This will override the timeline and begin playing the clips within the mix window. But at any given time, you can always jump back to the timeline by clicking here. So the clip launcher in the mix view is a great way to gather all of your ideas and group them by things like intro, verse, chorus. But if we just wanted to focus on mixing, we can turn on big meters. This is a great way to keep an eye on your tracks while mixing. All right, let's bring our clips back here. So it's really nice to be able to group all of our ideas and loops on the mix page. Wouldn't it be nice to do that on the arrange page as well? Well. All you have to do is open up the clip launcher in the arrange view. From here, you can experiment with ideas, and then once you find what you like, drag it into the timeline. Pretty simple. Now you might notice that in the upper right hand corner, I've got two tabs here. That actually represents two completely different sessions that are opened up. So here I have my master tab, which is currently playing, and I've got a second project open here. So it's really easy to copy a track or a clip from one project and then paste it into my master session. Bitwig Studio is going to make life easier for you. Its layout is easy to use and you'll be creating tracks faster than you ever have before.